Hey everyone, today we got a brand new Master Combat Achievement video. This one is titled Denying the Healers, and it is a Master Combat Achievement which requires a player to complete the Tazar Fight Cave without letting any of the white medjgot heal themselves or any other monster. I will call that name from this point onwards the Healers. The healers can only heal if they are within melee distance of the player, so players are recommended to use safe spots or position them behind other monsters so they cannot reach the player while killing them. So it won't matter if you are attacked by the healer, it's only if it heals whilst attacking you. So you, this is why it's saying to make sure to safe spot, we want to do it properly. I'll show examples of what you can still get away with so you know you won't fail the challenge. And I'll just show snippets of uh, little things with titles just so it makes it easier. So I don't want to overwhelm the player. Um, just to show, I don't want to show all the waves. just want to show a few things you'll see inside the waves and then finish with the Jad kill. Among other things, I'll have um, some slides just to show the waves of the healers. So let's get straight into it. So I've listed the waves here that the, the healers appear. And there looks to be a total of 32 waves out of 63 with 34 healers in total. That's not including the Jad healers. You want to pray protect from range uh, until wave 31 and then mage until Jad appears. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this page. I've put up a map here of the safe spotting for healers. So I've got a key there for you to look at, probably want to pause on this one, but it just shows basically the pathing of the healers and where you can uh, successfully safe spot them. And it is, there are about, you know, there are a few locations, so Long Rock, Italy Rock, Toe Rock, and the Dragon Rock. So we'll begin shortly just showing uh, the tips and tricks for getting this combat achievement and we'll go first into the gear inventory and real light plugins and then just with the little scenarios that will happen uh, for all the waves up until Jad. So we'll just get into that now. Alright, so getting into the gear and inventory situation and also the rune light plugins we'll be using. So you can see I'm rocking, uh, I had another guide uh, where I did another Master Combat Achievement with this setup. So it's Zerka friendly, uh, 45 defense requirement. It's also uh, quite a cheap set of uh, gear with the blowpipe, it comes to about 10 mil. With the darts and everything it might just be a little bit over. So we're just using Krill's crossbow with the bolt racks, the toxic blowpipe with the amethyst darts, and we got basic, you know, archer's ring eye, uh, fury, um, archer's helm, blessed uh, dehyde set, which is good for the prayer bonus. So you, with low low range, 75 plus, you might sometimes struggle a bit getting through the kills, but it should do the job. And Krill's crossbow is an eight square weapon range, which is awesome. Um, which is really handy for the safe spots with the healers and the blowpipes five so that's good for close close up with the uh, mages so another thing we'll go into is the inventory so I have two bastion potions uh, two staminas for running away from the healers uh, prayer potions 12 in total uh, four super restores six sara brews and the holy wrench which I think you need cabin fever for now going into the rune like plugins, you want to go to uh, open your sidebar, go to your configuration spanner. Um, if you type in GPU, you want to go into, so by default it won't be enabled. You may already have this enabled, so just disregard this if this is the case. But if you don't, uh, click into the uh, GPU and enable it. Now it will be by default set to 25, you'll see. And what that'll mean is you, it's got darkness, it doesn't have much uh, with the draw distance. So what you want to do is change the value of 25 to 50 and just see what that does. So you can actually see within the cave and this will be the case um, when you go into the cave, you'll be able to see the entire cave. And I think 90 is the maximum for it, but you only need 50 for the fight caves is what I've found with testing. Uh, so yeah, everything else, just leave that. The other thing you'll want is through the plugin hub, you'll want to install Fight Cave Spawn Predictor. 
and once you have that installed if you go in uh, enable it uh, make sure lobby rotation info is ticked so that's down there and what you want to do is set wave display mode to next um, and that will show what comes up next each time uh, after the first one so first wave color will show as white but from there it will just all be uh, green because we haven't set it to both so just next is what you want and that way you'll see the mallies come in um, in the melly square so it'll actually show them in a green square whilst you're on a current wave it'll show the next wave for green square so you know to avoid it and safe spot at all costs so this is all you'll need uh, going ahead um, and I'll just go through the tips and tricks um, coming up now. Now I just wanted to show this one first so this won't fail the challenge as you can see if they hit you like this so that won't fail. This next scenario shows the major successfully blocking the healer and you can see here we can still attack the bat without having to move because it's within the five tile spaces of the toxic blowpipe. So you just continue killing the major and then what we'll eventually do is run northwest uh, to go behind the dragon tooth rock um, to safe spot where the markers are. So you'll see here shortly just start running once it falls down and then we can work on attacking the healer but make sure it comes to you don't uh, rush this because you don't want to get uh, attacked and then healed from the healer this is another scenario with the mage blocking the healer uh, but this time we're running for a new safe spot to avoid the healer so this is on the eastern side and we're using the Italy rock, um, which is the southern, uh, southeastern side of the Italy boot. And you can see here that it successfully still blocks the healer. This next scenario is using the Kirill's bow with the eight square range. So we can successfully attack the major without walking out. And that would be bad because the healer would have a chance to heal itself with attacking us. Uh, wait for the bat to come to you as well. So we got the toxic blowpipe out now But just wait for that to come to you like this and then you can begin attacking the healer from that spot This scenario is shown that the ranger was safe behind there. So um, now we can start attacking it This scenario is showing that the um, healer was stuck behind a safe there and we were able to attack the rangers this last scenario is showing the double healers at Long Rock, so just uh, safe spotting them here and just letting them walk a bit further and using the Kirill's bow for that one. Thank you. 